So guys, for the first step, you're gonna head over to search and type in services, click on it. And then once you're on this, you're gonna click on any service one time and then click on P on your keyboard. Now you wanna find power. Here it is, you're gonna double click on power. And then once this comes up, you wanna make the startup type automatic and then click on start, which will now make the service status running and then click on OK. And now for the next step, you're gonna head over to search again and type in device manager, click on it. And then once you're on this, you want to expand batteries. And now you want to find your batteries. You want to repeat this for every single battery that you have in this list. I've only got one. You may also have one or you may have more. You want to repeat this for every single one that you have. So once you find your battery, you want to right click on it. And then click on update driver. And then click on browse my computer for drivers. And then click on every pick from a list. And now you want to select the driver that you think is most compatible with your battery. So for example, my battery is called Microsoft AC Adapter, so I'm going to install the Microsoft AC Adapter. You want to install the battery driver that you think is most applicable to your battery. So now, once you select your battery driver, you want to click on Next, which is now going to install it, and then click on Close. Repeat that for all the batteries that you have. For the next step, you want to head over to Search and type in CMD. Now, you want to run it as administrator, and then click on Yes. And then once you're on this, you're going to type in msdt.exe space dash id space power diagnostic. Click on enter. And now this will come up. You're going to click on next, which is now going to run the power troubleshooter. Now once that's been done, if it detects anything, it's going to try to fix it for you. Now you're going to click on close. And now once that's been done, you're now going to type in sfc space forward slash scan now and click on enter. You're now going to run the scan. Wait for this to load. I'm going to skip the video to when the scan will be fully completed. And now once that's been done, you're now going to type in DISM space full slash online space full slash cleanup dash image space full slash restore health. Click on enter again. You're now going to run this scan as well. Wait for this to load. And now once that's been done, for the last step, you just want to restart your computer. And then the problem should be fixed. 